Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Today I would like to talk about earnest money deposit. Um, so first off, if you've bought in a home or sold a home, you for sure are familiar with earnest money. Um, but today I want to just dive in a little bit deeper into what it is, um, how much it is, uh, and potential ways you could lose your earnest money. Uh, so the first thing is, what is earnest money? It's commonly referred to as good faith money. Um, so this is kind of a deposit that you put down um, on a home once your offer has been accepted by a seller. Now this money goes to the title company and they hold it. And then that money that was put down as your earnest money goes towards your down payment and or closing cost at the end of the uh, process for purchasing the home. Now I'm gonna go over four questions I commonly get asked when it comes to earnest money. And the first is, when is the earnest money deposited? So here in the state of Arizona, our state contract says within a reasonable time, um, this would be from the time that your offer is accepted by a seller. Um, so for most of us, we view that as 24 to 48 hours. Um, any longer than that, um, it just kind of seems like you might be delaying. So that is the common uh, time frame is uh, 24 to 48 hours. The second question I get asked in regards to earnest is how much money is the earnest deposit? Again, I always refer to our state contract, uh, the purchase contract, and it actually does not have an exact amount. Um, I will tell you kind of the industry standard is 1% of the purchase price. So if you're buying a $350,000 home, your earnest deposit will be $3,500. Now you could do lower. Some people in the lower price range are okay with $500 or $1,000. Um, however, the higher the earnest money, um, it's more likely that that could help your offer and uh, have your offer stick out above potential other offers as well. A third question I get often is how do I deposit this to earnest money and who do I deposit it to? So your earnest money goes to the title company that is handling your transaction. And again, the title company is the third uh, party uh, that's neutral between you and the seller and they handle all the money and title process. So once you go under contract, and that seller has accepted your offer, you will be depositing that earnest money with the title company. And there's usually a couple ways you can do that. The most common is a check, um, personal check, cashier's check, or you can do a wire transfer. Um, there is a kind of a newer age thing coming around where there's an app. I believe you can also upload uh, your earnest deposit through. Um, you have to check with your title company, but those are gonna be the ways that you can de deposit your earnest money. And the fourth and most important question I get asked is, can I lose my earnest money? Um, and the answer is yes, you can. Um, so this is very important that you have a real estate agent that understands and knows the purchase contract. I say that because there are contingencies in the purchase contract that cover you as the buyer and protect your earnest money. So there are ways you can cancel the contract and get your earnest money back. Um, one of those might be during your inspection period, um, you decide to cancel on the home, you can um, get your earnest deposit back. Um, if for some reason there's a loan denial or uh, what we call an unfulfilled loan contingency, um, there's uh, potential you could get your earnest money back as well. Um, but again, it's gonna be best you have a real estate agent on your side that understands and knows all of the, the ways you could lose your earnest money and uh, ensuring that they protect that money for you. I hope this video was uh, informational uh, and answered some of your uh, questions about earnest money and starting that whole process with uh, uh, purchasing a home. So um, if you have any other questions, feel free to reach out. I would love to help out. Thanks and have a good day.